we call for this. We're glad to see it. Um, I think New Zealanders will really welcome it. And for the most part, I think now what we've got to focus on is a budget this week and how actually we make sure having flattened the curve, we don't do the same on the economy. We, we deal with some of the very real suffering that's come about uh, from this through uh, many people who've, who've lost a job, uh, many more forecasts to do so, and how we get a growth engine going to get them back working again. I think it's good that we, we, we are where we are. Yeah, I think it would be very welcome from New Zealanders. Um, we're opening up more. I think in truth, what happens now is we need to focus on the other wave that's coming on us. On us. Having dealt with the COVID-19 wave, we now have got to be thinking about the, the real suffering that comes from a thousand people a day going on, on the dole and growing. Uh, the, the need to get those workplaces and businesses back up. Because I think what we know is it's much easier to keep someone in a business and keep someone in a job than it will be if we're a bit slack on that um, and, and we see people and more people than need to going on to the dole uh, and languishing there. I, I think jobs, jobs, jobs. I think we will support things that we think are about saving jobs and I would expect to see some significant investment in that. The trick is what we also know is this is possibly the deepest recession New Zealand's seen, you know, certainly in my lifetime. And, and with that we want to make sure that the economic hole and damage isn't bigger than it needs to be. We've got some banks and economists saying look this could be a hundred billion dollars in debt. That takes to over 50% of GDP. And so we want to make sure that whilst there's investment going into jobs, there's not a bunch of other um, low priority, untargeted things. Because ultimately, if there is, um, that's 50 grand a household that has to be paid back at $100 billion. That's inevitably more taxes. Um, and that's a legacy of debt, effectively, on our children and our grandchildren. And we don't want to see that. There will be, though, um, people who are going to need to delve into that detail and understand the differences between a restaurant and a cafe and a bar who can and can't exactly uh, open. And I think we, we should acknowledge um, the the honest truth of this, which is that there will be some bars who've been holding on and for whom Thursday in well over a week is just too long for them. Look, even where they can open up, um, I, I think what we know is that they have now more costs on them from the distancing and the like. They will need more staff, and they'll probably be taking in um, uh, less revenue. And so, you know, I think we should all as Kiwis be um, sparing a thought uh, for those suffering on the dole queue, but also those who are going to be trying to pick up the pieces of businesses they may have worked for a very long time on and make a real go of it. I think they'll have all of New Zealanders' support in doing so.